Welcome back to Simbright Fashion Academy YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to sew this draped bustier gown, as you can see right there on the thumbnail and on the video. So right here, you can see my applique. I just tagged them in. I've not, I've not actually stitched on it. So this is what the back looks like as well. But I actually made a blouse, not a gown for it. So it depends. And the back, I use a zipper instead of corset back. So if this is what you want to learn in this class, I'll encourage you to stay to the end of this tutorial to learn how this velvet is draped on this blouse. Thank you. Begin this tutorial. I've already drafted my pattern and the pattern I have here I just have them um, to the from the shoulder to the length of the blouse so I'm making a blouse with this so I'm going to make a blouse with this so here is my shoulder this is the chest this is the bust point on the bust point my waist for the front and this is the hip line so this is two inches above the hip line that is where my blouse is stopping so the blouse length is 27 inches so now the first thing i'm going to do is to mark out the yoke line so the yoke line is at nine, six inches so i'm going to mark out six inches as my yoke line then i'll rule my line across like this next i am using three by three neckline for the natural neckline and i'm going to get the midline and connect the midline to the bust point like this so here on the yoke line i'm going to come in this way by 0 0.75 and out by 0 0.75 after that is done i'll connect what i have to the bust point like this I'll go ahead and connect like this all right so that is that and the next thing i'm going to do here is my center front so the next i'm going to do now is to de determine the neck line okay for my sweetheart neckline so from here you can decide to do eight inches or you can decide to do seven inches so we can just do it or let's do seven and a half so i'll just do seven and a half and here is my yoke line so if you want it deeper you can go ahead and make it as deep as you want so next is to connect to the armhole like this so the next thing we are going to do we'll come over to the under bust at the under bust line I'm going to contour my under bust so my under bust uh, circumference is 38 inches divided by four is 9.5 so i have about two inches left so here i'm going to impute 0 0.25 and the rest of 1.75 i'll impute it that way so that is on the under bust line so we are going to position our ruler like this to the under bust and flip it like this again so next we are going to connect what we have from here connect it straight to the dark leg and connect straight to the dark leg so if you watch you can see the line we connected from here to the dark leg so this is where we are going to cut off so we are cutting off everything we have right here okay apart from what we have here so that is how to go about this so I'll call this F1 and I'll call this F2. So now this is uh, what we have on the on the front dress. So the next is to your yoke. So you are going to mark out your yoke, your yoke neckline. So I'm using four inches by three and a half. So four inches depth three and a half as my width. So I'll just go ahead and mark. I just want to make a three and oh, let me just do four inches. I'll just rotate the four inches. 
That's I'm rotating. I'll be coming over to the three and a half. So I'll just mark out my neckline. Okay. So that's my neckline. So because this is a, a tool, a tool, so you have to consider the expansion of your tool. So I think what we have here, depends on your choice anyway. I have four here. It's okay. And my yoke depth is four. So it's okay. So here is the yoke. And this is the bodies. We have F1 and F2. So we are going to cut out what we have right here because we are done. It's a very simple dress anyway. So it's the draping and the, the applique, the correction that makes it look the way it is. Although what we have on the thumbnail is a gown. For me, I want to make mine a top and a skirt. So I'll come up by one inch here. And at that one inch, I'll just go ahead and connect it this way. And connect it that way. So I just want to create the blouse. So here, I'm going to cut out what I have here. So if I'm cutting, I'll go through here. See what I have right here, okay? So this is how it's going to look like. So this is F1 and F2, and this is the yoke. Like I said, it's a blouse. So uh, we are going to cut the back right now. Start off the drafting of the back bodies. So for the back bodies, this is what we have right there. I'm drafting from the shoulder of the back body to the full length. So here, the measurement I'm taking for the blouse length the blouse length will be shorter by 2.5. So we have a uh, 7 inches, uh, 27 for the front. Just count 1, 2.5. So my length of my blouse will be at 24 and a half. So I'll just make that adjustment at 24 and a half. Okay. So this is in full length. So the half length is at 16 and a half. Okay. The front length is at 19, which is 1, 2 and a half. Two and a half inches is the bust that. So here, my dart intake is one inch. I will replace the dart by one inch. And I'll go, I'm going to reconnect it this way. And I'll take it back to the hip line. So the hip is um, 13 inches. Divide by four. My hip divided by four. I have 13 inches. And my waist divided by four. I have 10 and a half plus one inch, which is 11 and a half. So here you can see I've replaced my that I connected it. I came out by one inch and replaced it. So I placed my pattern ruler like this and like this and replaced it. So if you remember, you can see that from here we came out by one inch for the front. So you still do the same. Just come out by one inch, place your pattern ruler like this and place it like this. Okay. So you can just place it like this. All right. So after that, the next thing I did was I came to the armhole and came down by about 5.2. Then at the center front, my neckline is 8 inches. So I connected it with a stretch ruler like that, this way. That's what I did here. So the next thing I want to do is to contour the waistline for the back. So the waistline, I'm using 1 inch to contour. So I'm going to place it this way and place it that way to nothing. So this is our contour line to avoid zip bulge. Here is the contour line. This part I have contoured. I'm going to replace it here again. So just make sure you replace it. So I'll add one inch back and connect again this way and that way into the hip line. Okay, so now we are done. The next we are going to do is to cut out. So my pattern is B1 and B2. So that's how my pattern is going to be. So for the neckline, I'm also taking 4 inches 
So just go ahead and mark four inches. And that four inches, I'm going to come in. I'll just come in from here by one inch. This time I'm coming in by one inch. And I'll connect to the four inches. So here will be the yoke. And that is where we are going to pattern the drape. So I'll just go ahead and cut what I have right here. we have for the yoke and this is the yoke as you can see so that is how it's going to look like so we are going to cut everything on fabric this is the front pattern and i've cut out uh, four pieces for each two for this i have this on fold and i added half an inch so the seam allowance is two inches and the hem is at one inch this is for the front piece and here is the back piece. So I have one inch for zipper, half an inch here. And I also have one inch on the hem and two inches here too. So you can see. So the next thing I'm going to do is to place my lace. I'm going to place my lace on top of it with my uhu gum. So I'm using my gum to place my lace on them. I'll do that now. Placing the lace as you can see right here. So the lace is now on top of the door face satin. So the next thing I'm going to do is to bring in the pattern because we want to create the busting. So for the busting, I always like to use the under bust. On the center front area then measure what i have here from bust point to under bust whatever i have that will be the bust radius i'll place it here from here so i'll just go in like this Also take what I have here, three and a half. I'll take it here and take it round. So this is up and this is the down. So I'm going to create my That will be my bust. So I've added 0 0.5 inch to it, but I did not add anything to the under bust and on the side. So I'll take off the wadding right now. The pattern. Let's go ahead and take off the pattern. And on the on this side, you mark the upper. I'll just use a stroke, and I have my bust point already. So on the fabric we are going to turn the fabric and place the sticky parts place it to the under post like this and we are going to use our wadding to cover it then for this side we are going to place this to this so i've ironed it with my hair stay right now as you can see so i'm going to start joining from the under okay i'm going to join and iron the busty so you can see i did this only on the fabric so for the lining i'm going to sew the lining without part what it looks like after i've ironed so you can see the bust here and here is the lining okay 
So now we are done with this. The next we are going to do is to join the back. So here is the back piece. So I'm going to pick them one after the other and join them accordingly. So I'll join it from the down to the up. So I'm going to join it right now. Here I'm done. I've joined the both back together as you can see. So I'll set it aside. Then we'll go over to the yoke. So here is the back and front yoke. So I'm going to cut them out right now. And this is the tool I'm going to use, the skin tone net. So I'm going to place it and cut and stitch. So here is my yoke. I've already cut it out. So I'm going to stitch it right away. I'm going to sew the yoke. So here I'm done sewing the neckline, as you can see. So the next thing I'm going to do is to trim it very close. So I'm going to carefully trim very, very close. I'll do the same for this as well. All right, so here I'm done with the yoke. So the first thing I will do now is to sew the yoke to the bust here. So I'll take up the back yoke. So I'm going to sew this yoke right now. I'll sew it to the bust here. So I'll go back to my machine now. I'm going to sew from this end and then to this end. Let me do that. So I'm done sewing the skin tone mesh. So the next I will do is to flip it this way and sew my lining. So I just go ahead and sew, pin the lining. I'm going to pin all of them and sew. But meanwhile, I'm going to make my notches carefully. So I just make snip of notches around. So let me do that. So the next thing I will do is to join the back. So you just go ahead and join the back. You replace it how you want it to lay. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and join one at a time. So I'll just go ahead and place this like this and then use one of them to turn it like this. Stitch at 0 0.5. So let me do that. I'll stitch at 0 0.5 here. After joining it, this is what you have. So after joining it, the next thing you will do is to bring in the velvet. So this velvet, we are going to place it. We are going to place it like this. So we are going to drape it on top like this. So this other part will be under the bust, while the rest of it we are going to sew it off, turn it aside and stitch. Okay. So on the shoulder line, we are going to also run a stitch holding the drape like this. You can see that. So, but I'm going to take this off and prepare the velvet so here is my velvet so this is the velvet i place it on fold so i'm going to trim off the excess i have then measure the width of the velvet we are going to use all right so this is it so the the velvet measures the length you have. I have 21 inches by by 13 inches. 21 by 13 on fold. So I'll just go back and stitch the velvet. I'm going to run my stitches and turn it to the right side. After sewing the velvet, I'll just open it up this way. Okay. So the stitches, I'll keep the part I stitched at the center like this. Then I'll go ahead and drape. Okay, so I'll just drape it. This will be my draping. So I'll just drape it like this. So the next I'll do, I'll come back with the with the dress. So I'm going to secure it with my pin here. So this is how you're going to lay it. So it's going to go all the way by the side this way. So make sure it reaches the underboard because the other draping will cover it. So I'll just go ahead and secure it with my pin. So I can also run my stitches at the end of the day to hold it. So you can just go ahead and to your machine, remove the lining 
and stitch it hold it with your stitches that's what i'm going to do so i'll hold my stitches so it stays for me then after that i'll lift it up make sure you straighten this part you can secure with your pin first then and the rest of it we are going to stitch the rest of it turn the rest of it and stitch on the two so let me arrange it let me hold it on here first then we we'll stitch to this part then we can now hold it down with our pin all right so here you can see i'm done stitching so i first stitched the other bust then i took the the length and stitched on the yoke at the back then i now came to the center shoulder line and held it down with a stitch so when you are doing that please remember to leave half an inch for sewing the sleeve and remember to leave like one inch above the sleeve too so the next we want to do is the draping that will be on this part and now comes under the under bust like this so i've already cut out the piece of fabric so this is going to come all the way on top like this so i've already cut out the pieces so here is the pieces and the piece of velvet i'm using it measures 18 inches so this 18 inches i'll just put it on fold like this then i'm going to stitch at half an inch and turn so the length can be as long so i have it at about 30 inches so i'm going to sew now and turn so i've sewn it to this side and i'm going to turn it to the front like i did in the other one so here i'll also put the stitches at the center so i'll come back with the dress so make sure you separate the lining at all time before you stitch so i come with it place the stitches below and then i'll first go ahead and stitch so i'm stitching this very close i'm stitching it it has to be on the bodies and it has to also be on the next so i'll just go and stitch i'll drape it this way so i'll have a border drip of about five inches so i'm going to stitch it at about five inches so after that i'm going to lift the bust area so make sure you leave the bust area and then make sure it pass passes through the net of course i'm going to arrange it arrange the drapes and i can also stitch on top of it then once it comes here we are going to make it smaller and it will pass through the under bust like this so at this point we'll also hold it down with very little stitches so let me stitch here first then i'll show you what to do here. i've stacked the first one right here and i took it all the way on top of the two so i just took it all the way like this and pack at the center front then minimize it pass it under the bust pack here and here as you can see so by the time the bust sits everything comes into place as you can see so the next thing we want to do i'm going to drape the one that will pass through here so i've already brought my fabric so my fabric is also the same uh, width the width is 10 inches so i'll go ahead and stitch the 10 inches and turn then i'll drape so I'll bring back the dress. We are going to drape on this other part of the sleeve. So for this, I'm going to place it this way. So I'll just hold it down. I'm going to hold it this way. You can see how I'll stitch it here. And once I stitch it here, I'm going to spread this across like this. Can you see? So I will stitch on top of this. I will bring it very close to. So the draping will start. I'm going to stitch right on top of this on the two mesh. So let me stitch this first. I'm done draping this other part. So you can see how I did it. I have to sew it on the two. Sew it on the shoulder line. Then I'm drape the other part this way. So you can see the angle at which it's draped. So later I'm going to tack this part okay i'll just use my needle and thread and make it a little more 
tape pad. So the next we are going to do is to drape on the bodies. So for the bodies draping, so for the bodies draping, I'm also going to use the length of fabric I have. The remaining part of it, I'll just fold it in this way. So I'm going to first sew at the end like this. I'll take it from up to down. So I'm going to take it from up to down. Then I'll just drape and drape and stitch by the side, just like we do in wrapper illusion. That's what I'm going to do. Then this, I'll stitch it this way, as you can see. So I don't have enough fabric here. If not, the best thing to do is to sew it the way we've been doing before we drape. But if I do that, it will not be able to drape. So just go ahead and fold it in this way. Overlap it a little bit this way and then drape just pick it up like this and stitch then the remaining part of it you take it up like this so i'm going to do that now i'm done draping so you can see what i have here so you have to step up by at least one or one and a half inch then you step up by four inches so this is a high low drape so by the time i sew the dress it's stretchy so it stretches and holds the drape this way so the next we are going to do now is to sew the back dress. So the back, I just go ahead and stitch on my two like this. So I'm going to attach it. Of course, you know how to go about it. So I'll first attach this way. Everything, I'm going to stitch everything together with the lining like this. So I'll go back to my machine now. I'm going to stitch, follow the stitches I have and stitch and leave the zipper allowance. Let me do it. All right, so I'm done right now. I'll fix the back and the front lining. So I'm going to fit this dress right now. Stitch lining to lining and fabric to fabric. Let me do that. All right, so the dress is ready. As you can see right here, everything is ready. And the next thing we want to do is to reduce the lining. So the lining is equal with the fabric. So I'm going to reduce it so we'll be able to have a perfect inseam finishing. So I'll just go ahead and reduce my lining right away. So I'm reducing my lining at one, one inch. So I'll just start from the beginning and take off one one reduce the lining as you can see so the next i'm going to do is to sew the zipper so i'll sew the zipper right away i'm done sewing my zipper as you can see so you can use any method of your zip and then the lining i reduced i've joined them together the lining and the fabric so i have to also join everything together so the next thing is to i'm going to put my hand from the sleeve and i'm going to turn the dress to the right side and give it a good press it's ready and neatly finished i've given it a good press so you can see it's neat inside and outside and this is my zipper so you can go ahead and sew your zip the way you want to So this is what my zipper looks like. All right, so I'm done attaching the sleeve. So this is what the dress looks like. So you can see it's actually looking beautiful with these drapes. So later I'm going to attach the applique right here and here. So I'm going to decorate it accordingly. 
So I believe this class was helpful to you. So if you are new to this channel, please kindly subscribe, turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day. Like this video, share to family and friends, drop a comment on the comment section and your suggestions as well. Thank you once again. See you in the next class. Bye.